here's what it looks like without the without any, anything on. Now let me plug it up. Turn it on real quick. And you can slowly start seeing it come on. That's pure hydrogen. Here's the actual cell to the generator. Just goes down in the PVC pipe like that. Hook up my negative, my positive, and gas will come out here. Here's a blow off valve in case it arcs inside. Pops out. Let's it escape. That's it. Rest of the shop. And I will put it in and show you here in a second. Alright, guys, here it is. Gonna turn these two on. Temperature, voltage, amperage. Got the knob here to turn it on. And this one controls the top two, this one controls the bottom one. That. And here's my switch. Kind of hard to see. Turn it on. Let's see if I the door. Yep, there's the switch down there. And let's see. It's still cold, just warming up, so it it's only pulling. Well, let's see what it's pulling. What's that? 60 degrees it'll warm up and this the amperage will start building up as it gets warm too to around 20 is what I have it kind of figured for right now all right I'm gonna shut it off so I can go up front and you can still hear me see it goes off because I have it wired to when you turn the key the switch goes out so I'll turn that switch so next time I turn the key on it won't come on. Alright, pop the trunk, I mean the hood. Let's go check it out. Alright, here's the setup. Here's the negative going down to the actual generator. Kind of hard to see down in there, but... That's it. That's just the top of the PVC. Here's my bubbler. Let's see if I can spin this around. Well, I guess I need a light really. But anyhow, here's the bubbler. I have it the hydrogen. Comes out of here. Goes through this hose. Well, man, I don't know. Let me see what I that's okay, I guess, but anyhow. Hydrogen comes out of here, follows this hose down, goes into the top of my bubbler. Bubbler just has water under the hose, so if you have a back flash or a flashback, it won't blow up. This one right here, hydrogen flows through here, goes through here. And I have it tapped into my air intake right there. After the air filter, but before the turbo. See the turbo's down there. All right, for the electrical part. Have the wire ran in right here. Right here, and that is the relay. See the relay. Here's my positive. Got the 30 amp inline fuse going to this side. Hit the relay, goes into the shunt here. This is what my amp meter is hooked up to. It's a 50 inch shunt here. And got everything soldered and uh, what do you call it, shrink wrapped or heat shrink. 
and it goes through here and measures that and then this goes down to goes down to the generator here have the positive on the far side there positive negative for the ground and here you can see I have the voltmeter coming in on here and this is my temperature back there it's kind of hard to see I wish I had a light out here maybe next time I'll get one but the volt the positive is also right there for the voltmeter and for the switch it goes off the relay have the switch ran up in my fuse box here And this is how I get the power for the switch. And this particular fuse here is only hot when the ignition's on. I think it's trailer lights or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, trailer lights or I don't know. Anyhow, backup lamps is what it is. So it only is hot when you turn the ignition on. So next time I'm going to make one, it's going to be with the clear acrylic so you can actually see it making the gas I know it's kind of tucked down in there maybe I'll pull it out of here and do another video later and so you can kind of see it bubbling or whatnot but that's pretty much the top of it right there and I don't know we'll see what happens all right cool